Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Avis. Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to finish my mini series for the Ready Player 2 event. And in today's episode, we're going to get the last three items. I'm going to split this, of course, into three parts. In the first one, we're going to get this pretty interesting looking helm from Sharkbite. In the next part, we're going to get the Chaotic Top Hat. And then the last one, we're going to get the Rick's Boombox right here. So yeah, let's just do that in today's episode. Alright boys and girls, so we're finished with the first quest right here. Of course we now have received the Helm of the Riptide. If you want to watch the video as well, link will be in the description down below for this one. And now let's move on to the next tutorial. Of course it's going to be the Chaotic Top Hat, which is actually located in Dungeon Quest. Link for the private server will be in the description down below, but you do not really need a private server. But if you want to use it, feel free to do that. Let's just start. So once you join the game, of course, all you want to do is walk right over to this wall right here that you can see on the right next to this little tower right here. So it's right this wall and pretty much just walk there and climb up the wall. And then we have to do some, well, counting and it's actually a little bit tricky. So you might need a few attempts on doing this, but once you get the hang of it, I think it should be fairly easy. So let's just try our best to do this right here. So first things first, you want to climb up this wall. Let's just do that real quickly. The tree is right there. So yeah, just walk over to the tree. There you go, then climb the wall. All right, awesome. And then you want to stand right over here. Wait, let me just find it. Right here. So now you have all of the lamps in your vision. This is one, two, three, four, and five, as you can see. And now we have to wait until they start blinking again from the beginning. So you can see currently they're still blinking. Now they stop and that's the pause phase. So all you want to do now is wait patiently until they start blinking again and then write down the numbers. So let me just walk you through this. For each server, the combination is going to be different. So first up right here, we have four, then we have two. Next up, we have one, then we have one again, then we have one again, and then we have three. And I think that's it. We can just wait again and do the same thing one more time just to be sure that we actually got the correct numbers. So we have four for the first one. We have two, we have one, we have one, we have one again, and we have three. So our code is 421113. So you have a six digit combination now and what you want to do with this combination is walk right to the cave over there. I'm going to showcase that and then type in the combination and then you'll get teleported to the boss battle. And that's pretty much all you have to do. But keep in mind the boss battle might be a little bit difficult. I'll try to give you some tips but I assume on mobile this is going to be fairly challenging. Um, Let's just try our best. So the cave is located right in between these two waterfalls right here as you can see. And then you have this little numpad right there and you have to type in the code that you just got from the combination right there and then it's going to start pretty much. So our code is 42111 3 42111 and 3. So we have the six digit combination it's going to light up green now for us and then we get teleported. Once again you have to do this combination thing over and over again. I think as soon as you join a new server the combination will be changed. So for you it's going to be a different combination and you actually have to do the first step. It's not going to be the same for you as it was for me. Just keep that in mind. So for this you actually have a time limit and you have two abilities. You have the E1 and you have the Q1. And with these ones you can actually deal damage. And one thing I just want to showcase before we start. If you just stand like really far away and press E. It's still going to deal damage and that's going to be very very helpful later on. I'm going to showcase that. By the way if you fall down right here in the obby part. That's not a big deal as far as I'm concerned. Let's just try it out very quickly. You do not lose a heart and that's pretty amazing. So if you fall down in the obby as you can see doesn't really matter you can just well start over again you just lose time and well the time is actually plenty to be quite fair so yeah you should be good even if you fall down a few times um shouldn't really matter too much and we just fell down again <laughs> oh no we're doing really really bad right now i just wanted to showcase it once well i'll just skip this part until we reach the end and there we go now we reached the end finally this took me a little bit longer than normally i don't know what's wrong <laughs> Okay, so this was a little bit tricky now, and yeah, let's just destroy the last barrier, there we go. You can see the glitch has 1000 hit points, and yeah, I'm just going to walk you through real quickly. So what do you want to do, of course, now? You want to start attacking him, and then you want to dodge these ones, so you can see he's going to spawn those things. And all you want to do is attack him with your E and Q attack. Just be careful and dodge these lasers that he's going to spawn in, there you go. Now after this one, you want to be careful because he's actually going to do this attack, and just hide right behind these server parts right here, and you should be good to go. Let's just try to deal some more damage. There we go. So let's do the other attack. There we go. Awesome. Let's do the E attack once again. Um, he's going to do his laser attack. There you go. In a few seconds, he's going to actually spawn some minions. I'm going to call those and they're actually going to protect him, which is fairly interesting. So just try to stay close to these server parts right here. Um, after this one, he should probably spawn his healer. So yeah, unless they change that, they might have changed it because like he's already really, really low now. Okay, now he's going to spawn his healers, as you can see, and you just have to take these out. It might take a few seconds. Just be careful. They're actually going to spawn like the lasers on you and you don't want to touch those because... 
That's going to damage you quite a bit to be quite fair. So there you go. I think that one is taken out. Awesome. Um, I'll just take out the second one as well. You can see these actually heal him. So you definitely want to destroy these fairly fast. And there you go. We destroyed those. Awesome. And now he's no longer being healed, which is really, really good because that's that's not good for us. All you want to do now is, of course, oh, God, wait. Oh, that was really close. So we took 16 damage right there. Not too nice. We'll just do our attacks very quickly. Um, There we go. I'll just wait till they actually load again. There we go. Let's do another attack. And let's just already go closer to the cover. Because he's going to spawn that in a few seconds. There we go. Now he's spawned that. Awesome. Let's just hide right behind here. Wait. There we go. Let's do this attack. All right. Wait a few more seconds. And maybe last one now. He's really, really low. And there we go. We defeated the boss. And that's pretty much it. Now you would receive normally the batch. I already have it. So I'm not going to get it again. But yeah, that's all you had to do for this one. Uh, mission completed. You would receive the batch. You get teleported back. Yeah. And now let's do the last one, of course. Which is going to be, of course, the Rick's boombox. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.